One of the causes of a washing machine filling too slowly, or not filling at all, is the failure of the control board to send voltage to the water inlet valve. To help identify a defective control board as the source of the problem, you can use a multimeter to determine if voltage is reaching the inlet valve. The water inlet valve may be secured to the washer's rear panel, near the upper portion of the cabinet, under the control housing, or under the top panel. Before you begin any disassembly, be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord. Once you've reached the water inlet valve, disconnect the wire connectors from the valve's solenoid terminals. Washer water inlet valves will usually have two or more solenoids. Set the multimeter for volts AC and plug the washer's power cord back in. Confirm that the water temperature is set to warm, then select a wash cycle and press start. Be aware, you may need to wait a few minutes for the control board to send voltage through the inlet valve power wires. Now contact the black meter lead to one of the connector terminals and the red lead to the other terminal. The meter display should indicate close to 120 volts of alternating current if power is reaching the valve. Repeat the test for the other solenoid wire connector or connectors to determine if voltage is present. You may have to wait for the control to switch between the cold and hot water circuits. If the meter display shows that little or no current is present at any of the connectors, you'll know the control board is defective and will need to be replaced with a new one.